Greetings, greetings, Bill Nye here. Today we're going to do some science support. Our first question comes from Destiny Dolan. No, serious question. What makes people think global warming isn't a real thing? Like, it's February and it's 70 degrees outside. Upside down smiley emoji. So I'm thinking now uh, that it's cognitive dissonance. This is a real effect where people have a certain worldview. They're confronted with evidence which conflicts with the worldview. So they have dissonance, conflict in their minds. What's generally done, instead of changing your worldview, which you may have held your entire life, you dismiss the evidence. And along with that, you dismiss the authorities that may have provided the evidence. Bird TV asks, if we can clone extinct species, should we? I think it'd be cool. What we're all talking about is like a woolly mammoth. Hi, Steve. Hi, Bill. It's <coughs> my woolly, woolly mammoth impression. This one would be named Steve. Anyway, it's, I think it would be cool, but it's not up to me. Carry on. Do you know how long Earth has existed? This is from Isa Nissan. And I would say, yeah, uh, 4.6 billion years. Rocky Online. I have a doubt related to evolution theory. If we evolved from monkeys, then why are there still monkeys? <laughs> That's brilliant. You're the first guy to ever wonder this. We did not descend from monkeys. Monkeys and we have a common ancestor. So you may have seen this picture, this famous arrangement. This isn't really accurate. Uh, it wasn't just one to the other to the other. Uh, as we say, the, the family tree of hominids, like you and me, and even my old boss, <laughs> It's not just a straight line of one organism leading to another. It's a bush, as we say. So there's many, many branches, and you and I ended up on one of them. And so we did not descend from monkeys. Monkeys and us have a common ancestor, and you can prove it. Uh, Anthony uh, Arjun, Arjun, Arjun asks, uh, what makes a planet a planet? You've got to have enough gravity to be a ball, and right now you've got to have enough influence to clear out your orbit from other stuff, other debris. Stand with Rand writes, can alternative energy effectively replace fossil fuels? Absolutely yes. Burning coal is the worst thing we can be doing. So I encourage you uh, to check out the solutionsproject.org. They have done an analysis of not only the United States' electricity needs, but 130 other countries around the world. And we could power the whole place right now if we just decided to do it with wind, solar energy, some tidal energy, some geothermal energy, we could run the whole place. Wouldn't shut down existing nuclear plants, but it's really hard to build a new nuclear plant because nobody wants them around. Running 2 asks, a double rainbow I saw a couple months ago, what causes a double rainbow opposed to a normal rainbow? Well, one could make an argument, he's got pictures here, or she. In a sense, there's always a double rainbow, it's just the second one is much fainter. It doesn't, it's not as bright. So the background has to be, the sky has to be dark enough for you to see it, generally. Our camp asks, why is the sky blue? Why can't it be green? Careful what you wish for. Air molecules are spaced in such a way that when waves of light pass between them, they are scattered. As we increase the greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, people have speculated that the scattering will change. The molecules that are doing the scattering will be so abundant that the sky will no longer be blue. It's not good. Carry on, our camp. Backseat drawing. Magnets, how do they work? They're magic. No. What happens in certain materials, the strongest one and the most common one, the one we all know and love, is iron. And these are steel, and steel is almost entirely iron, just a little bit of carbon. There's what they call a virtual current, where the, elect the electrons are moving from atom to atom. And this produces this magnetic field. And this tendency is so strong that magnets stay magnetic for centuries. Mint chocolate chip asks, what is the fourth dimension? Is it smell? Fourth dimension is time. This is not rocket surgery. Fourth dimension is time. X, Y, Z, time. Lil Poundcake asks, can artificial intelligence take over the Earth? Yes. Yes. What do you think? No, I, people make artificial intelligence. Are we going to make a machine that produces electricity 
in a way that we can't control that takes over for us. Really? Who's going to build that machine? How long do you generally believe the human race has existed on Earth? About 100,000 years. Uh, Jerry Buck, what is dark matter? It's not clear, but it has apparently an influence like gravity, and there's more of it than there is regular matter that you and I are familiar with. Jared Japerson, people say that cell phones, I think it's might give off radiation to the brain. Turns out people get brain tumors all the time. People talk on cell phone way, way more of the time. They have done studies trying to connect cell phones and brain tumors. There is no connection. Carry on. Farah Damji, how safe is acupuncture? Uh, I know people believe in acupuncture. There's no value to it. But if you think it works and it makes you feel better, carry on. Uh, will horseradish and rib au jus leak through you when you, after you get acupuncture? I don't know. Run a test. Try it. Brianna, Ray, they say avocados are good fat, but how much avocado can you eat before it becomes bad fat? You can eat a million avocados. What do you think? For crying out loud, there's calories in avocados. Just there's also some unsaturated fat. Uh, avocados are great. I recommend an avocado with a poached egg. That is, that's living. Bates, I wonder what the world would be like after a nuclear war. It would suck, okay? I was in class when Professor Carl Sagan talked about this idea of nuclear winter, where you'd set off so many nuclear weapons so rapidly that all the debris thrown in the sky would make the earth cold. And this was dismissed for a while until uh, Walter and Luis Alvarez found an impact crater off Chicxulub, Mexico, that was almost certainly where this asteroid hit that killed the ancient dinosaurs in the same way by throwing this cloud of debris. The, the, ejecta, the ejected material from that impact was bigger around than the diameter of the Earth. Dr. Chad Zahid, so what's concluded about GMOs? Are they safe to eat or not? Yes, GMOs are safe to eat. We feed genetically modified food to rats, lab rat, mice, all the time, and they're fine. The problem is that what genetically modified organisms have enabled monocultures, these enormous fields of the same type of plant. And that has led to some environmental problems. Callie, how do people actually believe the Earth is flat? I'm stumped, Callie. I don't know how people believe that. We have classroom globes. We have spacecraft that take pictures. You can find documents from medieval times where people knew the world was round. Columbus, Christopher Columbus knew the world was round. He just sold Queen Isabel on the on the idea that he could get it done really fast sailing around the world. Derek, why are people willing to pay more for organic food when there's absolutely no evidence that it's any better for you? Uh, perception, it's marketing, man. People want to feel that no pesticides were used and they're thinking maybe globally. It's not just a question of whether or not it's good for you, it's a question of whether or not it's good for the ecosystem and good for the agriculture, the sustainability of our agricultural systems. One of these is organic and one of them is uh, genetically modified. Do you know which one? Neither do I, but generally the bigger one. No, yeah, no, you can't tell. Carry on. Final question. Hey, Bill, are you free for dinner? Uh, uh, often, often. Thanks for your question. Carry on. Thank you all for supporting science. We went through your tweets and we had nothing but fun. I'm Bill Nye. See you next time.